In this lesson, we're going to be formatting chapter headings. Let's start by opening the docs folder that we have on the desktop. And then I'm going to open the manuscript.doc file. To quickly establish what we've done so far, we've set the page size to 5 by 8 inches. We have adjusted the margins. We've changed the font to Garamond size 12. We've set the indentation, we've set the line spacing to multiple at 1.1. You could use single spacing. But let's talk about chapter headings. There are multiple ways that we could format headings. We're going to use a built-in feature that Microsoft Word has called Heading Styles. In Microsoft Word, Heading Styles are a way of formatting your text to make headings stand out from the body text. And heading styles, luckily, they make your documents easier to navigate. Using heading styles, we could modify them in one place and it cascades across the document. So if you have 10 chapters in your book and you want to modify the headings, you could do it in one place and the look would cascade across your document. Using heading styles, you could also generate table of contents. So far, we have been working on the body matter for our book. We haven't touched the front content or the back matter for the book. I could highlight my chapter headings and change the text to whether it's Times New Roman at 20 points or 12 points. I could do it there if I wanted. But because I have three short stories, I would need to go to multiple parts of the document and modify the stories to suit. So I'm going to work with heading styles because I have the added flexibility of navigating my document easily and generating a table of contents. Imagine a book with 10 or 20 chapters. I could update the heading styles in one place and easily update the table of contents at the click of a button. Let's go back to the original formatting. I'm just going to give myself some space to work with. By having the formatting marks turned on, it alerts me that when I hit the Enter key, that previous paragraph is set to Times New Roman at size 20. So I could just easily adjust this back to Garamond, uh, size 12, and give myself some breathing room to work with. I'm going to insert a section break because I know all the content that is to come before this would form the front matter of the book. I'll jump across to the Layout tab and insert a section break on the next page. I'm going to click Home and then select Heading 1 for the name of my story. Let us find the next two stories in this document and apply Heading 1. Afterwards, we'll see how we could modify how the chapter heading looks in terms of the spacing that comes above and below it, the font family that we want to use. I know the name of my next story is In The Desert, so I'm going to hit Control F on my keyboard and type in In The Desert. There we go. With the cursor at the beginning of the line, I'm going to hit Heading 1. I'm not taking up with how it's formatted right now. I'm going to find my third story, put my cursor at the beginning of that line and click heading one. If you have 10 chapters, if you have 10 stories, you're going to select your chapter headings and apply heading one. Let's look at one of the benefits of choosing headings. If I was to jump over to the view tab and click the navigation pane, under the headings option, I will see a link to the stories that I have selected and formatted as headings. And I could use this navigation pane to jump easily between them. On the home page, I could also select the different instances and make modifications to them. For example, I may want to change the font family. I may want to change the font size. So by selecting all the options, in this case, all three instances, I could make multiple changes. We know that we are working with the font family Times New Roman at 20 points. 
And if I were to go over to the layout tab, I have the option to further format where the chapter heading appears in the document. You can experiment with what comes before and after. Consistently over the years, I have used uh, 72 points to come before for the chapter headings and 72 points to come afterwards. And just like that, we have all three chapters formatted the very same way using chapter headings. I could scroll through my document easily and in the future we would be generating a table of contents using these heading styles that come with Microsoft Word. It's an amazing feature and I highly recommend that you use it when formatting your chapter headings. In the next lesson, we are going to talk about the front matter. What comes at the beginning of your book? From the half title page, to the title page, to the copyright page, to generating a table of contents. Things are heating up.